Hey, how's everyone? Um, I forgot what I was doing. Where to go to? Oh no, there's the right button. There we go. Hello, hello, hello. All right, so let me just share this really quick and we will start. We're gonna use the fun sheep tonight. There it is. Share to a group. There we go. Oh, and then let me see if I can open you. Right. Perfect. Alrighty then. So let us begin. So today I went to Hey Martha. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how this all works here. I'm used to it. So I went to Shopco today since they're closing. And I was like, well, let's just see what they have. So I actually found this super cute tray. Look at this thing. Um, it's just an ac acrylic tray. Let me get... Here we go. Get all this stuff out of here. And I'll show you because it's super cute. Really cheap. All right. So it's just this white acrylic tray I got. I think I got it for, it was less than 20 bucks. I thought it was going to be 10, but obviously I did my math wrong. I think it was like 18 or something. Um, there we go. Move that over there so I have a have another screen to see there. There we go. We're good. We're good. Okay. And I thought this would be the perfect thing to do the next set of the corner market on. The sheep, because the sheep is going to fit perfectly. All right, so let me get them out of here. And, ah, thanks, Martha. All right. Okay, so this sheep I've been so excited to use. So it goes with the the corner, corner market is the Chalk Stories. So there's this one, and there's the chickens. Oh, goodness, almost dropped stuff. The chickens we used last night is with that chalk story. So they go together or separate, whatever you want to do. Um, and then we have this other one that came with family owned and operated, farm fresh, groceries, and this cute little guy. Hi, Amanda. How are you, honey? All right. Main Street Markets. We've got a bunch of those. And then the other one with the chalk stories is just it's kind of more sayings and stuff like that but it has the mercantile and dry what is it quality dry goods so lots of fun so i'm debating on what to put with this so obviously we've got our cute sheepy here i'm wondering if we should add something else to it um why could you just photographed a bunch of crap to sell hmm well, let's hope it's not literal crap because uh, I don't think anyone would buy that, Martha. <laughs> um, but hopefully you sell a bunch of your stuff. That's good. It's good to sell stuff. Um, so, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do we put something with the sheep? I'm not sure what we should do. Um, put that back there. I, I still really like that Main Street, mm -mm, Main Street Market. Be cute on there. Um, there actually, I think I might push that guy all the way up and then do just the nice family owned and operated right on the bottom. How does that look? You like that? I really like that. I think that's cute. I think that's what we'll do. Just kind of keep it simple because there's so much fun detail in this. I don't think we need anything else. I think that was, that's going to be enough. Alrighty. So... The sheep need some friends. Oh. But Amanda, do you think this would be enough? Or do you think we need to add more? I think that might just be enough, just with that little bit. I'm not sure. Well, while we think about it, I'm going to get this guy ready. So. Okay, so I'm going to move my tray off to the side here. And for those of you that don't know, so Chalk Couture. We have, these are vinyl silk screen transfers. And so what that means is, well, let's see if I can get it off here a little bit. I'll show you. Some of them are harder 
I don't have nails, and so it's kind of hard for me. There we go, right there. Um, it's sticky right here. Um, and they're all made out of vinyl. And then right where this white is, there's a silk screen right in there. And they're all reusable, and we use our chuck paste. And... Oh, it's so fun. Okay. So I'm going to take my fuzzing cloth and put it down there because since our transfers are so fuzzy, we want to kind of lessen that adhesive a little bit. So I'm going to fuzz it before I do, before I take it off of my backer sheet. I want to label what it is. So this is the sheet. There we go. So write what it is, write back, whatever you want, just so you know that it's, um, this is the back. Because since it's sticky, it needs to go back on the correct side. Okay. I don't want to put this down if that's still wet. Okay, we're good. Alrighty, so let's get this guy off of here. Thanks, Amanda. I think the words are going to be really cute. Really, really cute. Alright. Perfect. And because this tray is very, very smooth, we're going to fuzz it even more. So we're going to like super fuzz it because the smoother your surface is, the more it's going to stick to it. And we don't want to stretch our transfer and we'll thin it off. So that's why we are fuzzing it. Okay. So nice. Then just pushing it on here. I'm just getting a layer of fuzz. Hey, Lori. All right. Perfect. There we go. Ooh. It's sticking to my tabletop there. Perfect. Yeah, so when it sticks a ton to like your smooth surfaces, when you pull it off, it can stretch your transfer because it's holding on so tight. So that's why we are fuzzing. All right. But, you know, if I was putting this on fabric, it would be perfect because this level of sticky would be great. Hey, Taylor. Right. Glad you guys could all join me. This is going to be such a fun one. I'm glad I found this tray. This tray is super cute. Okay, so I think we are good there. Let's move that. And then let's bring our tray back in here. And then let's see if I can get it centered in here. There we go. Gotta move over. My camera's a little off tonight. Okie dokie. Right, so let's get this all nice and centered. Anyone sees that it's not centered, let me know and I will fix him. Does he look good? I think so. I think he looks good. Alrighty. And I think I see a little fuzz right in there, but actually it's not fine. Alright, so smooth it on out. Make sure you don't have any bubbles in there. Perfect. So I think I'm just going to do the entire thing in black, just to make it stand out on this. The other thing I was thinking, so last night with the chicken, I had put some um, copper over it. So I think tonight I might do the black and try some of the silver as well. I think most of it in black would be good. I like it. Thanks, Amanda. The tray I got at ShopGo today, so great deals. Well, they're not really that great. You know, those first couple weeks of sales are really not the greatest things in the world, but that is all right. Okay, so this is chalk paste. So chalk paste is liquid chalk. It goes on wet and dries hard. And so I'm going to put it on this. It's going to dry. And then any time with the chalk paste, if it's on something smooth, if I want to change it up, I can always, with water, just spray water on it, wipe it on off, and then I can put something new on there. Well, since this is on a tray, it'll wash off. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it with a clear, um, like an acrylic sort of thing. So, um, so it'll be there forever. So I don't have to worry about it coming off if I'm going to use it for anything. Granted, when I spray it with a regular um, acrylic, it's not food safe. So just want that one thing to remember, be for decorations only or use it for pop or something like that, not for food use. But there is, and I need to find it, there is like a food safe sealant. They're kind of expensive. So hopefully I will find that sometime we will use it. Okay. Alrighty. 
So I think, you know, I've got a very little bit in here, but it will definitely do what I need it to. I'm going to get my silver ready, though, just to be sure that's all ready to go. I can't get it open. There we go. Because the last thing I would want to do is to get my black all on there and then have my, my next color not ready to go. So this is perfect. So what you want to look for in your like your regular colored chalk paste is a yogurt-like consistency. Your shimmer paste are a little different. They're going to be more of a, an ink consistency, which is more like um, it's creamier, and some of them are a little thicker. So like this one reminds me of marshmallow fluff, and that's completely normal. I know I freaked out the first time I used it. I'm like, oh no, did I get ink on accident? What's going on? But we're good. Just something to remember when you work with it. Don't don't have a heart attack like I did. Hey, Laura. Sorry. Oh, some of my little crusties from the outside are falling onto it. Okay. So I'm just going to do this so I have a bunch out there. Another great thing of these stir sticks is you can just kind of use them as a... Like that. <laughs> Alrighty. So I'm going to take my four inch handled squeegee and just use that to pull it across because I'm just going to pull it a lot faster. There we go. This thing is massive and amazing. And as soon as it starts to, like I'm scraping as I'm going kind of, and as soon as I scrape it off, it's going to start drying on me. So that's why this giant squeegee is amazing. I can do a lot of it at the same time and not have to worry as much about it drying. There we go. Nice big swipes there. Whew. It's making noise. See, I'm putting very little on there. See, you, you saw I put quite a bit on there to begin with, but I am scraping off a ton. So you're using just a tiny little bit. There we go. Oh, and I got stuff all over my fingers. Look at that. Yeah, all over my fingers. That's okay. It will wash off. It'll be just fine. Alrighty. So let's get this guy off of here. And ooh, I don't think I fuzzed quite enough. It is sticking a little more than I usually like it to, but it will come off. Ooh. See, and this is why it's so good to fuzz really well. It gets, oops, and I think I just got paste on my sweatshirt. Yep, I definitely would have, should have got a little bit more on the fuzzing, but it will be okay. Just kind of rock it back and forth to get it off there. All right. That'd be good if I had another hand. Ah! I'm sticking it all together. Look at that. It got stuck together. That's okay. Let me see if I can go right down here, because I don't want to put it back on itself or else it can... There we go. Whew. All right. Word to the wise. Next time we do an acrylic tray, fuzz it a lot, a lot, a lot more. There we go. Whew. Okay. Some of it got pushed together. So I'm just going to put it in the water and I will pull those apart later. Hey, Michaela. This is the tray that I was telling you about when we were on the phone earlier. All right, so let's hope I didn't get stuff on my sweatshirt because um, the paste comes off of smooth surfaces, so not all of it will come out of fabric. If I got it on this, I might just have to deal with it. But I, I don't think I did. I think I may have just bumped. We'll see. I'm not sure. I just don't want to move it around. Nope, I'm good. We're good there. Oop, let's turn that the other way so I don't do that. And I actually didn't get myself, even though I got it. I got it right there. <laughs> Isn't the sheep cute? I think he's so stinking cute. Ah. All right. So before I move on to the next thing, I'm going to wipe this piece up right here. All right there. Just got a paper towel and some water. I'm just going to throw it right in here. There we go. Perfect. Oh, there we go. Let me see. Clean that up before I move on and... Once again, guys, you know what I forgot to bring up here? My hair dryer. Still in my bin downstairs because I have another event tomorrow, so I didn't unpack it. Go figure. You know, 
It's okay. We will make it work. And I didn't put my silver on there. I had my silver all ready to go. Hi, Kingsley. I'm glad your hedgehog is enjoying this too. <laughs> so I guess I'm not putting silver on it since I was going to put that right over the black. Well, that's how it goes. That's okay. I really love the black. I think the black is so pretty. Um, Alrighty, so let's get our other... So we were going to do the family owned and operated right on the bottom there. It'd be super cute. So let's get that all fuzzed up and fuzzed even more. <laughs> so, because now we know you need lots and lots and lots of fun, um, fuzz when you're working with these trays. Okay. So this one, um, I used last night, so it still says, I already still, of course it's still labeled. Goodness. So it is labeled already. Here we go. I'll pull that off there. Okay, we're gonna fuzz it. That would be so cute, Lori. Oh man, that would be adorable. A cute little hedgehog transfer. Oh man. Well, I will go into my back office stuff, and there is a um, a request form. I will put that on there because you know you never know. This last catalog, they came out with a lot of new ones that I heard a lot of people requesting. So they definitely listened to us. That's fantastic. All right. Okay, so I think, I think we're good. I'm like hitting the table and it's like bouncing the camera all over the place. All right. So let's see, let's hope. Well, I don't think I'm going to hit it though. So I think you're okay. Okay, so is this centered guys I think that looks centered what do you think maybe down a little bit just on this side right there hmm oh man oh man and guys as you're coming in um I would love it if you would say hi um if you're watching this later um then definitely comment that you're watching it on the replay love it and as always share sharing is my favorite actually no my favorite is you guys you guys being here with me i love that um but it definitely helps me if you share it all right so i think that looks good dang it did i get too far off of the side now i did i moved it down and now it's off to one side i'm gonna have to move it over a tiny 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 bit Look at that. I can already tell that I fuzzed it better. Right, right. Oopsies. There. Does that look good? Right there. Mm. Needs to go a little bit. And anyone who still is like, what in the world is she doing? Um, if you want a sample kit, I have a sample kit. Um, so let me know if you want one of those. And yes, yeah, so you can just comment sample kit and we can get you a sample kit out. So all, all that is, is, I don't even have one in front of me. I had one. Um, it's a little three inch. Um, actually, no, I do. I think they're right in here. They're in my drawer. That's where they are. Um, if I can open my drawer far enough to get them all. So what it comes with is this little chockable chip and a little mini transfer that fits perfectly right on there. A squeegee, a paste packet, and some information. So have a how-to thing. So definitely message me, comment, anything like that, and I will get you a sample kit. And you can try it out because it's amazing. It's so much fun and so easy. Alrighty, squeegee, black paste again. Let's pull this right over here so it cover your whole silk screen. Get it all nice and covered. And then we're going to squeegee off any excess like we did with the big one. Go and all that excess. All right. Amy, I will message you right afterwards. And I will let you know because. 
since this is a public thing, I can't let, I can't, unfortunately, I can't say it out loud because it'd be a, it's a personal promotion. And so, but it's not much. I will, I'll message you. Alrighty. There we go. And you know, I should just write that down so I don't forget to message you because sometimes I have a bad memory. So I'm just going to write it down. Amy. Karen. Perfect. I will message you right afterwards, Amy. Alright, so that's all good to go. And pull it on off. I probably could have fuzzed a little more even. How cute is that? Oh man, that's adorable. So this is just going in the water. So these are all reusable. So that means any of the ones in the sample kit are reusable as well. It's even better. So you're not just getting a one-time use kit. You're getting a, a multiple use kit, which is fantastic. All right, guys. So what do you think? Does it need anything? I don't know. I wasn't sure if I should add any color to it. But I love it the way it is. I don't think it needs anything. I think if I would have remembered my silver over here, that would have been really cool. But I don't think it needs it. I think it looks awesome. Look at that guy. Cool. Thanks, Martha. Thanks, Amanda. There we go. Look at that. It's big. It's so cute. Ah! Um, Taylor, I got it at Shopco. It was the only one that was left, though. Unfortunately, or else I would have bought a couple of them. There's not a whole lot left at Shopco, though. Kind of already starting to sell out of a lot of stuff. Um, any sunshine transfer? Sunshine. Um, you mean like sunshine to put like on it to give some, something like that? They're mm, not really. Um, there is one that says make your own sunshine. Um, but that's a very cartoony looking sun. I don't think that will work very well on it. But I love this. I <gasps> Hi, Jude. Hi, Lalani. Hi, Annabelle. Hello. <laughs> I love that you put me on the screen. Michaela, that's awesome. And hi, Corey, if you're there too. I'm not sure if Corey's there or not, but. I need to put a sun in the corner. Yeah, that would be really cute. I think it would add a little bit to it. But once again, I don't think it really needs it. I think the way it is is super, super cute. Um, and of course, I don't have my other one up here. Else, I would put it next to it. The chickens I did last night would go perfect with these. So, you know, you could make an entire room cohesive. And that's the whole point of the chalk stories, I guess. All right, guys. Well, that is it for tonight. And, you know, maybe one of the next nights we could do something with the, with this one. We haven't even opened this one yet. Uh, Corey says he's here too. All right. Hello again, Corey. <laughs> um, so maybe we can do something with this one because this is another piece of it. So they're all nice and cohesive like that. All right. Well, all those can be found on my website. It's chocotour.com slash Heidi. Super easy. But you can get all of these there or message me and I can hook you up too. Well, once again, if you want a sample kit, let me know. And have a fantastic night. Bye-bye. If I can find the... Where'd my button go? Guys, I'm still not used to this. I still have no idea where my end button is. There it is. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>